Hi. In this video, we are going to talk about transparent data encryption. Transparent data encryption is a feature in SQL Server that protects data at rest. Data at rest, in this case, means your MDF and LDF files. These files reside on your hard disk and are easy prey to anyone with access to the file system. By simply copying the files onto another machine, the hacker would be able to bypass all security measures implemented by the DBA things like principle of free privileges, roles, permissions, etc. This becomes especially important in the cloud where disks are being provisioned and deprovisioned thousands of times in a day. When first enabled, transfer data encryption requires some amount of time in order to scan through all the pages residing in the database before they can be encrypted into the hard disk. The data is loaded into the RAM and from there it is encrypted before being written back to the disk. During this time, the transaction log file and the NBA files encounter a significant amount of I.O. and this can result in performance degradation, especially from things like locking, blocking, etc. Another aspect of transparent data encryption that you might need to be aware of is the fact that when you use transparent data encryption, the temp database is also encrypted. You can obviously understand why this is important because the database MDF LDF files are not the only places where we store our data. Within our procedures, every once in a while, we might take advantage of using some temp tables and those files are also susceptible to being hacked. Depending on the size of the database, transfer data encryption can take anywhere between a few minutes to many hours in order to encrypt the entire set of pages in the database, as well as the transaction log file. During this operation, it is obviously undesirable to have performance issues and as a result, Inside SQL Server 2019, Microsoft gives us an option to pause and resume the transparent data encryption scan, especially when we encounter heavy workloads. After the initial scan for the database, all the remaining encryptions happen in real time, and therefore there would be a significant amount of locking blocking issues only at the initial scan uh, when we are encrypting the database. Having said that, because the encryption is happening in real time, subsequently, there is a possibility of a slight CPU overhead for all queries from then on, typically in the range of 2 to 3 percent of your baseline. The good thing about transparent data encryption is that it is complete. By that, we mean that even your backups are encrypted once the MDFLD files have been encrypted using TDE. Now, this is obviously good as well as bad because when you restore databases, you need to be aware of the fact that you need to now restore your master key and your certificate at the time of doing restores as well. And losing those encryption keys would result in a complete data loss for that database. In other words, your backup will not be restorable. In order to perform TDE, the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and create a master key. As you can see here, I have already created a master key and as can be expected, you're supposed to use something much stronger than this. Also, in addition to that, we create a certificate and later, using that certificate, we go ahead and create an encryption algorithm or we use an encryption algorithm called AES-128 using the certificate to encrypt our database stats. So, in this case, I'll just simply come and say alter database stats set encryption on and when I do that what happens is this database now will be encrypted or the data for the database in the MDF LDF files will be encrypted using TDE. As you can see it says command completed successfully and when I run this query which is again a query that you can use to monitor the state of TDE across databases you'll see it's uh, sys.dm underscore database underscore encryption keys and when I execute it, you'll see that the state says complete, so I don't have any encryption scans going on at the moment. And the database that I was worried about, stats, is now encrypted, and this was the time that it was encrypted. You can see that this is a fairly small database, and as a result, it completed fairly quickly. Now let's try and do the same thing for a database that's slightly larger. In this case, I'm going to use the Amazon database, so that's Amazon and I'm going to say encrypt the database Amazon as well. So first I need to create a database encryption key 
which I believe should already be there but uh, it's already there so I don't need to worry about that and I can simply say alter database Amazon set encryption on and when I do that you'll see that right now the Amazon database is actually a pretty large database about 50 GB in size I believe okay it's about 80 gigabytes in size and this is gonna take some time to complete when I run the DMV now you'll notice that for the Amazon database over here it says encryption in progress and the status is running and that's kind of pretty much what we want because essentially I'm saying SQL Server database engine go ahead look at the Amazon database and start encrypting the data inside of it and you'll also see that we have a percentage there that gives us an idea about approximately how long this operation is going to last so these are the stuff that as a DBA you want to be paying attention to because at the end of the day when you run transfer data encryption you need to be aware that there will be some amount of performance overhead and you need to be prepared for it as you can see this particular database because it's significantly larger than most of my other databases it's gonna take some time to complete and let's assume that this is the middle of the workday and there are other users connected to the system so I would encounter a significant amount of disk IO as a result of this operation now the disk on this particular machine is not great as it is and the additional stress that TDE is putting on it should cause it to be uh, a, a lagging behind in terms of IO so if I just give it some time you should see that right now about 94 percent of my memory is utilized and if I just wait long enough I'm sure that the disk will also go up to 100 percent and uh, we'll come back and look at that in a minute okay there we go so it's like about 70 80 percent of the disk is being utilized at the moment by SQL Server and that's mainly as part of the TDE operation so this causes a problem for me because I have users complaining about performance degradation the sites are slow the query is slow etc and I need to now pause TDE so that they can continue doing what they want and I can resume TDE at a later point in time when I feel more comfortable that there will be fewer users logged in and that's when I would run this command so here I'm saying alter the database Amazon and since the scan has already started which I can verify by looking over here I will come and say suspend and by selecting this and pressing uh, F5 or executing it you'll see immediately that the TD is now in a suspended state and the percentage has dropped back to zero the difference between doing this versus maybe setting off is that when you do off it actually undoes the encryption that it had already performed to say 15% of the database and you don't want that because you still want TDE at the end of the day it's just that you want to pause it temporarily while uh, users are connected to the system and that's where the pause and resume functionality gives you a significant advantage so for OLTP systems typically what I would suggest is you do the transparent data encryption at the end of the day when you know people are not connected therefore avoiding the, avoiding the whole need to do a resume or suspend but for extremely large databases you might not have that flexibility or for environments which are running 24 bar 7 you might want to be able to throttle your encryption to intervals where uh, users don't complain too much about performance degradation and you can achieve that by doing suspend as I showed you before in which case right now for the Amazon database encryption is suspended and now I'll say resume and we pick up from where we left off so if I go ahead and execute this now you'll see that it's again back to running status is encryption in progress database is Amazon and the uh, the percentage is 18 percent and if I just keep refreshing it you'll see that uh, it is slowly increasing to 19 20 etc and that's all you need to worry about when you're working with transparent data encryption in SQL 2019 especially when using the feature for pausing and uh, resuming uh, TD initial scan there are extended events as well that you can monitor but the DMV should be enough for most DBS to identify if a scan is the reason for performance degradation on the server and then execute the command to pause it until they're satisfied that all users are uh, exiting the system and there's no more impact to end users well I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, this gives you overview of TDE and the new feature in SQL 2019 and uh, thank you for watching